Hello Collective, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Collective, this is your reading for the month of August 2021. This can be considered as a mid-month reading. Okay, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, also Collective... Uh, Look, there is an extended reading for this one and if you are interested in the same, if you are excited to know what your person truly really thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and your person, you can go ahead and you can check out the link that has been provided in the description box and also in the comments section. Okay, right. Uh, collective. Look, what I'm going to do in this reading is I'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent your energy. Then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with. In between, I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will represent the mutual energy between you and your person. Thereafter, uh, I will answer. I will answer one question of yours in yes or no. So you have to ask a question, uh, a close-ended question. Ask that question to yourself that can be related to your love life, that can be related to your life in general, that can be related to your, uh, that can be related to your, uh, your career, your profession, right? And with the help of cards, I'll answer that question whether it is going to be yes or no. So stay tuned in till the end, okay? Let's get started now, collective. Why well, the cards are jumping out, collective? I'm not yet done shuffling. We have is Knight of Cups, then we have a Six of Cups, and we have a Queen of Pentacles. Then we have is death, we have is two of swords and we have a six of swords. We have ace of wands and we have justice. Okay. So, someone is Scorpio, someone is Aries, someone is Libra. So Scorpio, Aries and Libra is standing out. Uh, there is a strong presence of uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aries is what I'm hearing, okay? If the sign pops up all the better, let's not remain fixed on the signs, okay? You may be seeing a lot of 555, 11, 11, a lot of 666, and 222, okay? Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles. Someone is trying to get in touch with you, collective. That's what I'm feeling. Maybe you have blocked someone, but uh, they are a bit desperate to get in touch with you. And you know what? They, to be very honest, what I see is they have made efforts to get in touch with you, but there are some obstacles over here. Okay, with that Knight of Cups, what I feel is that there is an, a strong intention uh, on someone's part to get in touch with you. Okay? They want to come towards you. They want to express. There is a lot that is going on in this person's mind, collective. Okay? They want to, probably, if this is a past person of yours, they want to apologize. They want to express their deep-rooted feelings for you. But I'm sensing that there are some obstacles, okay? This person wants to come, but there are some obstacles, and these opt obstacles uh, can be, like, either you have blocked them, either you have dismissed this person, you don't want to entertain them. They are feeling that energy where you are not in a state of mind to entertain them, or you don't, you don't want to entertain, entertain them anymore going ahead. 
or another obstacle what i sense is probably there is a fear in this person's mind okay collective the fear is pulling them back the fear the guilt is pulling this person back like there is a desperation in fact i see that the emotions have literally got pent up every single day okay emotions are penting up in this person's mind and now it is almost reaching the brink if they don't come towards you they are having a feeling like they may get a heart attack okay so it's like so much of pent up energy is stored inside them like they really really want to come come and they really want to express whatever is going on in their mind there is a lot that is going on in this person's mind okay there is a lot that is going on for some of you this can be a new person collective but you don't know who are they you don't know who are they this person is watching you since a long time and man oh man this person is having some wild thoughts about you of course there is a lot of love as well okay but if this is a new person they just want to start this connection that's what i'm feeling it's like they are having a feeling like they have wasted enough of time okay and they want to start with this connection right away this person somehow i'm getting that whoever this is whether it is past person whether it is new person i'm sensing a fear i don't know maybe you come across as a, a very strong personality okay and there is a fear that is going on in someone's mind because either they fear rejection or they think that you have a very strong personality which sort of intimidates them i i don't want to use the word intimidate because the fear is because of rejection rather than insecurity okay uh they love you they do love you okay whoever this person is they have lot of feelings for you okay and they don't have the stamina to hear no from you okay they will feel like it will just break break them down okay it it will they are feeling like their heart will just crumble down okay it will break down into thousands and thousands of pieces that's the kind of a feeling they are having so their heart is so fragile right now they are in a very 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 fragile state of mind and because of this fragile state of mind this person is holding themselves back from coming towards you otherwise the intensity of the emotions is too much otherwise love is too much whatever they feel for you is too much but this too much is becoming too much okay they really need to come towards you otherwise like you know <laughs> they are feeling like that that if they don't come towards you sooner they may just have a heart attack they need to express whatever is going on the energy is seriously getting pent up i can feel i can feel that pressure inside me okay with the 6 of cups i'm feeling that someone from the past is coming back now this can be a romantic interest somehow collective i'm also getting an energy around friendships maybe some of the friends whom you haven't met since a very long time or the friendship was lost couple of years ago or uh, like you know you this friendship was broken broken up because of certain things okay and then there was no communication at all between you and this person what i feel is that this long last friend okay this person is going to pop up in your life all of a sudden that's going to happen for some of you maybe a, a a very past romance like the very first roman a romantic partner or the very first crush okay you may bump into one another or even a recent past person may also come back to you 
but I'm getting an old energy over here. Someone like at least five six years ago or something like that. Okay. Uh, it need not be the case for everyone. Okay, for some of you, of course, I see the recent past person as well. But what I see is that with that six of cups, there is an energy where whosoever is coming towards you they want to mend the things between you and them probably you guys were not in talking terms and uh, things were not good good between you and this person the friendship was broken down this love relationship was broken down okay so this whosoever is whosoever is coming towards you they are really missing you they are missing you they are thinking about you a lot again i'm uh, again i'm repeating this can be a recent past person as well okay they are missing you a lot and they want to come back to you okay they really want to come back to you they just want to see you they want to know what you're doing okay it will be a sort of sigh of relief once they see you once they talk to you they will feel like a lot of burden has been taken off their chest somehow this person is feeling a lot of burden they want to come towards you they want to talk really nice to you they want to gift you something they want to ask your well-being they want to ask how you're doing is everything fine do you need any help or or if you're doing very good then this person will be like i'm very happy for what you're doing in your life i want to see you progress in your life i see some nice talk happening over here okay and then this person will be like, I really missed you. And I keep on thinking about you a lot. So I see some nice talks happening. Okay, something that will be pleasantly surprising for you. Okay, this whosoever is coming back. Okay, collective. This is going to be a very, very, very pleasant surprise for you. Somehow, collective, I feel that you are also sensing intuitively that someone is about to come back to you. And especially if you have some good psychic abilities, you're strongly feeling someone's energy. But whose energy is that, you're not able to understand. And probably that's why I'm sensing a couple of different energies with this card. I'm sensing for some of you is going to be your recent past person, recent past romantic person. For some of you is going to be your like first crush or the first romantic partner or a previous romantic partner or romantic partner other than the recent past uh, partner. Okay. Or for some of you it's going to be a friend. So there are a lot of mixed energies and you on the other hand you are feeling this energy inside you. But you are not precisely able to understand whose energy is this like sometimes you confuse like yeah maybe this is a recent past person i'm feeling this energy so strong then after some point of time you're like is it the energy of the past person or it's of someone else who is thinking of me who is thinking about me okay so You know what there is there is a saying i don't know why this thought came uh, uh, came in my mind like when i saw this queen of pentacles uh, it is usually being said it is usually being said collective that especially when you when you sit for your meal right whether it is lunch dinner or your breakfast uh, if if the food slips out of your mouth while while you are eating okay that means that somebody is thinking about you i don't know why this thought came across my mind probably some of you have experienced this but when i saw this queen of pentacles okay this pentacle just looked like something slipped out of her mouth or something like that okay so so it is it is being said that something if something like this happens then someone is missing you someone is thinking about you a lot okay they are thinking about the good times that this that they have spent with you or it is also being said that your loved ones are hungry and they are in the need of food i mean of course uh, that doesn't mean that they are not doing good of course they are doing good but the only thing is that 
probably they need to overwork and they are busy in some meetings and they are not finding uh, finding time to eat some food but they are getting hungry they are becoming hungry okay so it's it's said like that either someone is missing you or your loved ones are uh, are uh, are hungry okay and during under such circumstances something like this happens with you like your food literally slips out of your mouth while you are eating okay so i don't know <laughs> this just this thought just came randomly in my mind especially when i saw that queen of pentacles maybe maybe some of you have experienced this okay and uh, this is this is like people are missing you okay but what i'm whether this has happened with you or not what i'm sensing is someone is missing you a lot someone is missing you and you are feeling that person's energy but there is a bit of confusion confusion like whose energy is this okay whose energy is this is this the recent past person or it is someone else okay as far as your person is concerned we have as death we have is uh two of swords and we have as six of swords so your person is a bit frustrated in their life right now okay and the frustration is because they have lost you they have lost one of the biggest opportunities in their life to uh to bring a stability in their love life right you were that biggest opportunity and this person is realizing that now okay this person is absolutely frustrated right now and they are venting out their frustration on anyone and everyone okay whom ever they are meeting and people are not able to understand like what's wrong with this person why this person is behaving like this and why we are being subjected to some unnecessary frustration people are people are confused uh uh you know when because of your person's behavior people are not able to understand why they are behaving like this your person is literally venting out frustration on everyone okay they are venting out a lot of anger and uh, some of them have tried to ask your person what's going wrong especially those people who influenced your person in a negative manner especially those people uh who who whom your pro, whom your person uh especially those people uh who your person considers as a near and dear ones and whom your person trusted right those people are asking your person to stop behaving like this or to stop doing certain things okay what i'm assuming is that your person is taking certain important decisions in their life then these decisions are about about this connection these decisions are about uh maybe a third party the these decisions are about not listening to those negative influences okay so i see that your person is making some drastic changes in their life your person is taking some important decisions in their life and that decision is being opposed by someone okay now these someone can be uh, their family their friends colleagues or anyone even the third party they have taken certain decisions and they are receiving some strong opposition and it's not just about opposition when opposition is not working people are requesting them people are literally begging them to not to do so but your person is not at all in a mood to listen to anyone maybe they are leaving the uh, leaving a third party if there was a marriage involved then this person is uh, getting out of that marriage uh, maybe they have decided to come back to you and they have announced this decision and people were angry people uh, objected them people later on if when the objections did not work out people later on begged them requested them to stop right but nothing is working out 
your person is angry they are determined and they want to come towards you okay and you on the other hand you're still confused like why you are feeling your person's energy i somehow i'm sensing collective that there is a there is a shift in in the energies of all all of the divine masculines okay that's the kind of energy i'm getting from these cards that there is a major shift in the energy of divine masculines okay and these divine masculines are awakening okay they are awakening and they are taking the required steps to come towards you and you on the other hand so look when i say divine masculine if anyone watching this is a male viewer divine feminine and divine masculine energy is present in both the both the in both both genders okay males and females so don't think that when i say divine masculine i'm talking only about males no it can be females as well okay i'm considering every uh, i'm considering all of you viewers as divine feminines okay uh and your counterparts are going to be divine masculines so you are definitely feeling their energy but you are still confused because you are not able to understand whose energy is that okay this person is leaving someone if they have to come towards you they have to make some efforts and then come towards you they have to overcome certain challenges hurdles obstacles and then they will have to come towards you coming towards you is not going to be easy let me tell you that coming towards you is not going to be easy for this person but their determination will only decide whether they really want to come towards you or not but with that six of swords i feel that six of swords and the death card i strongly feel that this person is extremely determined to come back towards you okay and uh, for some of you it is also a new person and this new person they have also been through a lot of ups and downs in their love relationships they have recently left a person in their life and they are getting relocated somewhere else or they are uh, trying to heal themselves by emotionally distancing themselves from the past partner okay and once they are healed then i see that you're going to meet this new person okay so we have as ace of wands and we have as justice as a mutual energy whatever did not happen is going to happen very soon okay things are going to be very fair and good with you there are new opportunities that are knocking your doors okay or uh, in the new future at least you will have this new opportunity either to reignite the situation with the past person or either to start a new connection with someone new okay so whether it is past or new i see an opportunity coming your way and this opportunity is going to make you happy there will be a lot of uh, passion in this connection what i see is that if you have felt unloved in all of your past relationships then just wait and watch for this person okay they are coming towards you with a lot of love they are coming towards you with a lot of passion with a lot of love and care okay i see that you will be very happy in this connection all right so if this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment down below okay also if you are interested in the extended link is in description box and in the comment section okay now uh we will see uh i want you to ask one question to yourself okay and it should be a close ended question a question uh, the answer of which can be given in 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 yes or no i don't want an open ended question okay so ask an ask an a close ended question and this question can be related to your love life this question can be related to your uh, career your money your life in general okay and with the help of cards i'll answer that question so please answer me spirits please help me answer the question of collective please please help me answer collective's question please help me answer collective's question please help me answer collective's question
so one two and three we have is five of pentacles king of cups and we have is queen of swords interesting so the answer is yes initially the situation may look very uh, gloomy it will look like there are no hopes but over a period of time you will you'll realize that the situation is moving the way you want it to move okay so just have uh, so just have some patience and don't lose hopes in this situation okay so the answer is yes all right bye bye then